Hi, my name is Jessica Kiefer. I'm the head children's librarian at the Greensburg Hemfield Area Library and also our branch library, the Youngwood Area Library. One thing we have is that we have a lot of really unique programs that we offer to our community um, through different partnerships. We have something that we started in the winter was working with the Center for Hearing and Deaf Services, which has offices in Pittsburgh and also Westmoreland County, and working with them and through a grant from the CARES um, grant as part of pandemic relief in the winter, we were able to offer two classes um, on American Sign Language. So we did an introduction to American Sign Language class for children ages seven to 12, and we also offered one for teens through adults, so 13 and up. Um, in terms of other kinds of physical items to check out, you know, one thing that we have that's kind of fun is, is that we have uh, special tablets called Playway Launch Pads. They're preloaded tablets that come with about eight different um, apps for kids on them. And they're a mix of kind of like fun and educational things. Um, they don't require Wi-Fi. They can't connect to the internet. So they're safe for kids to use. Um, and they're a lot of fun. Um, especially we've been recommending them to a lot of families going on vacations this summer because it's nice to have them in the car, something new and exciting that can, you know, be entertaining and, and a little bit educational for those long car rides. Um, we've had a lot of programs going on throughout the summer. We have been able to hold some programs outdoors. We have a partnership with a local performing arts organization in Greensburg called Stage Right. We've worked with them for many years and they do productions called a special series of productions called Books Come Alive, which are, you know, um, plays with music based around children's books. We've also continued doing story times and a lot of other programs online, um, still over Zoom, um, because honestly, it's easier to reach more people. Um, you know, with our space limitations, we wouldn't be able to have very many people in our space. So some other programs we've done this summer are, I did a sewing program with kids where I taught kids how to embroider and sew on a button and we made a pillow. And we've had some programs with B-Bots, which are like a coding toy. So the children were able to borrow the B-Bot and take the B-Bot home and learn some real basic coding computational skills. Um, another program that we've done for many years and we're very proud of is our Read to Succeed program. Uh, one of our staff is a full-time kindergarten teacher and she works for us part-time and does a kindergarten readiness program um, and that's another one that we have funded through grants primarily and with that we're able to each kid every week gets their own copy of the book that they read and practice from. Coming up in the fall um, we're still in planning some things but we will be doing again offering Read to Succeed for preschoolers so for preschoolers again it's that kinder kindergarten readiness and learning and developing those skills that they need to be successful when they start kindergarten. Um, we'll also have our story times online and probably some more STEM and kind of craft activities. Another big program that we have in the fall that's a lot of fun is we have our pumpkin patch walk. This is an outdoor program. It's sort of like a fall um, early literacy celebration. So we invite families to come and join us over at St. Clair Park in downtown Greensburg. And we have a bunch of different fall sort of early literacy themed activities. Um, we'll have pumpkins for the kids, of course. And we invite a number of different community organizations who will also be there with different kinds of activities um, and crafts, games, prizes, other giveaways and fun things for the kids. So um, those are some of the things for, and then also we're gonna be having our introduction to American Sign Language class, again, that's gonna be starting in September for teens and adults. So those are some of the things that we have on our schedule already. I think some of the biggest impact that we have is that we offer a place and an opportunity for people to explore um, and for people to learn about things that they might not otherwise have the opportunity for. So again, by offering these kinds of story times, um, these kindergarten readiness programs, by offering introduction to American Sign Language, by offering book clubs and access to all of the materials and the databases and um, books and interlibrary loan and all those kinds of other services, you know, the biggest impact we have is allowing people to really be lifelong learners and to pursue their interests and the opportunity to kind of 
learn and grow and develop, um, you know, which is so important for everyone to live a really fulfilling life.